Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. Uh, if you are a human being and living in this world, then you've got some kind of problem. You just can't avoid it. That's just what happens uh, as people. Wherever you have people, you're going to have problems. So uh, in Romans 8, 22, the Bible says, we know. So what is it that we know? We know that the problems uh, most people don't know about. They don't know the problems they have. But as Christians, we should know. And this is what Paul writes in uh, Romans 8, 22. He says, we know. Well, what is it that we know? Well, we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in pains of childbirth right up into this present age. In other words, this whole world, this, the nation, everything is groaning up into this present age. Uh, we have tornadoes, thunderstorms, cyclones, earthquakes, tsunamis, floods, landslides, mudslides, blizzards, and the list goes on and on. That's the, that's the earth is groaning, uh, all these things that are happening. But the Bible tells us uh, we know why. And uh, that's the most important thing for Christians. We understand and we know why. This earth is groaning uh, because it's longing to be back the way it's supposed to be. Uh, you can't solve any problems until you get to the root of the problem. Um, what about you and I? Do you understand uh, the issues uh, you're having uh, uh, internally? Because uh, we're living today, we struggle with all sorts of things, outwardly and inwardly. But uh, thankfully, we have the Word of God. The Bible tells us uh, what we need to know. It informs us. Uh, the Holy Spirit is this counselor helping us uh, through this world. Uh, you uh, can't solve any problems until you get to the root of it. So uh, what about you and I? Well, we understand these issues. How long have you been dealing with the same old problems? You know, some people over and over, year after year, day after day, same issues over and over. Well, we have a counselor, and the Bible, uh, the Holy Spirit is the one that counsels us, helps us with the things that we're dealing with. Uh, so to start with, most people don't even want to deal with their problems. And uh, maybe sometimes uh, you might be like that. You just want to get in bed, pull the covers over your head, and forget about it all. But it, it doesn't go away. It really doesn't. So if uh, we could pass our problems off to someone else, uh, then we would do it. Uh, because we want to be excused from uh, the accountability. And so that's what we're finding in our world today, is that people not wanting to deal with their problems, not really knowing how, or not really knowing who to go to. Um, in Hebrews 4.13, the Bible says, uh, nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him uh, to whom uh, we must give an account. God knows everything. He sees everything. He understands everything. He is our answer to all our problems, and he wants us to know and understand why. Why would anyone run from their problems uh, that one day they will have to give an account to God for? It makes no sense at all. Uh, the blood of Christ cleanses us. 1 John 1, 7 uh, but the love of Christ compels us because we are convinced uh, that the one that died for all, uh, therefore he died for us also. When it comes to issues in your life, uh, are you going uh, to deal with them right now, right away? Or when it comes to issues in others' lives, are you uh, pointing them uh, to the right place? And that's Jesus Christ. Most people don't know who to call, or even uh, said a lot of Christians uh, call on the wrong one and speak uh, to the wrong things, or turn to the wrong things for help. We need to turn to Jesus Christ. He is our only hope. Uh, 
how would anyone ever know about God or uh, even uh, how nature is growing unless uh, they uh, study the Word of God or heard it from another believer explaining the things that's happening in our world. Romans uh, one twenty says, uh, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature has been clearly seen of being understood from what has been uh, made so that people will be without excuse. Everything that God has created, uh, all the things that we see in nature, uh, we're going to be without excuse. There's no reason why anyone's going to be able to say they didn't know. And that's what the Bible is saying. God has made it plain. He's made it clear. So, we who believe who trust and who obey God must tell others about the hope that we have. That's what 1 Peter 3, 15 says, being able to give an answer for the hope that lies within us. You see, uh, most people are blind to the problems in their life. They just don't know. And the Bible clearly tells us about that. In 2 uh, Corinthians uh, chapter 4, and verse 4, it says, The God of this world has blinded the minds of uh, unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ who is the image of God. So we have an enemy that has blinded our eyes. Uh, but uh, as believers, we have this light in us. And so it's up to us to advance the gospel, to give others the hope that lies within us and uh, help others uh, to come to know Jesus Christ. You see, Christians, as Christians, we have something very special. We have God and we have each other. Uh, isn't that great that we can depend on one another, that we can look to God, we can encourage each other, and we have the message of hope that we need to take to the world. So we have been made complete in Christ. Uh, so we're complete. There's, we're lacking nothing because we're fulfilled because we have uh, God in us. I hope that uh, you have a devoted, sincere group of Christians that you can fellowship with on a weekly or even a daily basis. This is so important. Uh, God is good all the time, isn't he? And all the time, God is good. Would you continue to follow us on Faith Walk 101 as we attempt to encourage you and uh, we're just thankful how you continue to encourage us with your support. Thank you.